Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and we're back at it. Uh, we've got both sides filled in. I want to thank everybody for coming back and watching. Uh, we appreciate it. Um, actually, I'm just unloading the lumber right now. I may as well show you. Um, what I've bought in, down to the local hardware store, uh, I bought some 6-inch by inch decking board. Uh, the reason being is it should last 40 years. It's supposed to. Um, I like I like the width of it and I like the color of it. Um, it's not probably sufficient for running a car on. Um, so if we have that on there, we have we have it between every 16 inches. Um, it's probably not sufficient for a car to be on with the wheel on there. Probably not. But I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to fix that. But it's sufficient enough for me to walk on, and that's basically what I'm, what I'm thinking. On the center of the truck, there's not going to be no weight. The only weight of the, of the car is going to be on the outside where the wheels are at. So basically, this is fine here because I'm not going through this, not at all. Um, so what I have to do is, where the wheels are going on the car, or on the truck, I, have to, I want to support a little bit. And what, I'm, you know, what I've thought up in my brain, I'm just going to move these aside for a second. <clears throat> So basically, I'm going to start decking it soon, but I have to do a few things. It is not welded up all the way around yet, but I'm, I'm just trying to move forward as quick as possible. I've got the wench left to put on, and I've got, this is what I'm going to do for the boards. As the boards are going on, I know where the wheels are going. I know how wide the car is. I had two strips of 8 inch left that I did not use to, to cover in the sides of the truck. Um, so now where I'm at is, is I'm putting <clears throat> the 8 inch pieces, I'm cutting them to strips and I'm going to apply them where the wheel's going to go. So basically that's where the wheel's going to run up inside the truck. I'm going to weld that along that brace, weld that along there, that way there the wood cannot break or will not snap because this will be welded underneath it. And I'm just going to run it, um, I wouldn't, I'm not going to run it in the small place like that. I don't think uh, the car would break a board of that small of distance but this distance here I think I'm going to run it in there I have the metal why would I not I may I may as well use it so basically that's what I'm doing there if you want to come over here and take a look Jolene I've got where I've put the two by three three sixteenths up inside the chassis you can see on this side where I took some plate and I played at that, and the reason I played at that, I'm going to go over and show for a second. The reason I played at that is because this is this piece here is inside the chassis. If the chassis ever opened up, it could take off and move. Where this is welded in there, my brain's telling me that that's going to have to pull that apart or rip that for that chassis to open up for this to move. I've done both sides. I got that in there like that. I've got both cross members. I put a piece of square stock on the metal that I've got here and welded it up the side from the exhaust pipe to the exhaust pipe. I run my uh, cross member all the way over, connected it to it. That gives me, what's it give me? It gives me a flat surface to run my board up on till I get to the top. My board's gonna run to here. We're gonna, the, the metal's gonna be here. So we gotta, when my two by three, three sixteenths is down here, I cut it and laid this uh, piece of square stock all the way across. So when the car comes up and the ramp, there's, you're not going to bend that on top of that. That square stock, 316s all the way across, the car's not going to bend that. Plus I have a cross member in front of it. Where this is connected to the exhaust pipe, um, this piece here, it sure does hold everything nice and tight. That's the chassis moving. Um, got this one connected on this side. I'm really cooking with gas right now. I'm thinking it's going good. I got this one covered in on this side, so that's welded in nice. All the braces are welded in nice. So basically all I have to do is put in some the flat stock where the wheels are going up. And then I'm off to doing the the winch. And I have to make a brace up there and make the winch connect to a piece of metal so I can hook it to the chassis up front. Uh, let's cut some pieces and run the pieces that I need for the wheels. We'll do maybe one at a time or maybe a couple at a time. Let's see what goes on here. I got another one to cut. Jolene looks amazing this morning. Jolene got me coffee in bed this morning. She's my lady. I say that every day and she is. She's my lady. So basically what I'm doing is, is this is the eight inch stuff that I have. I have it left. And uh, I, I enjoy, 
I enjoy using all the stuff. That's what's left of the exhaust pipe that I've bought. In. On the floor is what's left of the sheet metal that I have bought. In. Um, we've got one more piece there of 8 inch. I'm probably going to use that all the way up the length of the whole truck to use it for the wheels. Um, it's nice to use all your product and not have any waste. I really enjoy that part. Um, don't want any waste. I don't think anybody wants any waste. Let's cut that off. Get a piece going there. Just kind of marking that, putting a square on there and cutting it uh, with. Let's see what happens. Beautiful. I'm going to turn on the welder. We'll weld a couple in and then we'll cut a couple more. This is what I have to do. Uh, I can only show you what I'm doing, and uh, that's all I ever do, show you what I'm doing. We went and looked at a car yesterday, uh, the 48 Chev, or Pontiac. Um, <clears throat> me and Jolene sort of have an idea what we want to do. Turn that on. I appreciated the guy's honesty yesterday. Uh, he was very honest about everything about the car. You don't get that often, and he was very honest. No, I've got to plug that in. That's what I was looking for, a cord. <clears throat> so yesterday was a good day. Got a bunch done on the truck. Went and looked at an old car. It's a good day. It was a good day. I'm going to weld this in here. I'm not going to weld it in completely. I am going to probably tack it in there. I'm going to tack it in there. We'll run a couple, couple on her. See what it goes like. Got to tack it in place. Soon let you know when to turn on the gas, doesn't it? As soon as you start seeing air bubbles and spitting going on, turn on the gas. You have forgot to turn the gas on. I think that's sufficient. It's not going anywhere. So what I'm saying is now that I have the smaller board, um, inch board, when the car runs up through there, it's not going to bust through that. That board is going to have the help of the metal, and uh, that's why I'm going to use it. Also, the wood was $300 to put the plate on this and plate this. I think it would cost you a lot more money. I'm not sure if I'm in the way. I might be in the way. Am I in the way? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. You know there's a song like that, eh? Give me 40 acres and I'll turn this rig around. The smart lady told me to move that truck, didn't you? Huh? I like the way it looks. I really do. I like the way the side looks. It looks kind of like it was made back in the 50s or the early days of um, why not, basically. I like that look. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. And as uh, long as you're happy, it's all that matters. That's what I've been telling myself anyways. As long as you're happy.
Ouch. Got a little bit of gap there. And you know what that is for? Penetration. So when the car runs up on that, I'm saying it's not going to break through. That's what I'm saying. I don't. I do not need the strength in the middle of the truck. Um, I do not need the strength in the middle of the truck. I think that. I think it'll be fine, uh, just the way it is. So Wednesday, uh, nothing to do with the truck, Wednesday Floyd's coming to look at the seats, or take the seats probably to get them upholstered. Uh, believe it or not, I have been working on it. I got the seats all ready, I got the seats all cut down. Um, I got the bolts in them so they can be upholstered. So he's coming Wednesday to look at the Bugatti. Uh, yeah, let's go back to welding this. So Wednesday Floyd's coming, that's a good thing. We'll be happy to see him. Throw another one in. Beautiful. You are Joey. Beautiful. How fast can you build a ramp truck? Well, I guess the videos will tell you. Alrighty. Let's cut a couple more. So I'm saying with the inch by six wood um, with that distance there I don't think the wheel would break that when the wood comes back here I'm going to 45 the end this wood's going to come up and lay on top of that wood so we're really it's really going to be st quite strong there uh, so I need one there <clears throat> and I'm thinking that I'm not going to put one here and the reason being is is the distance that it's at that small distance I, I'm feeling like that would be a hard thing to break at that distance and what I mean uh, the shorter piece of wood the harder it would break a longer piece of wood would be easier to break is what I'm thinking that's what I'm thinking. What are you thinking, baby? Huh? 15. Let's check the other one, see what that one says. Hmm. We're off a little tiny bit. And you know what? It don't matter to me. All right, let's do it another one just as fast as we can we'll 
run it all the way up. That way there I can use my my cheap wood that I want to use, or my practical wood. The most practical. Just because something costs a lot more money doesn't mean it's better. Not at all. me yeah 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 I got that crooked a little bit it doesn't hurt nothing let's turn her on and how I made these pieces uh, you'll never guess I took a piece of cardboard and cut it out made a piece and then I slid it up in there and uh, it worked out just right it was good so I'm just going to put this on there I didn't mark that one. Any chance you pass me that tape measure, sweetheart? I, I sort of want to get this right, sort of. Thank you very much, sweetheart. Trying to give myself a little bit of gap and hold it in the right place too. Sometimes it's trying, but I got it. With the car that we were looking at yesterday, um, me and Jolene have been thinking, there's a lot of people they say uh, they would like to work with me and uh, do whatever. Um, so we're sort of thinking that it's not positive yet. Um, it's just a thought that we're having. Um, there's a chance that we might, um, we might uh, have, a, have a course where you can come here and work with me and we would chop and customize a car uh, we would not just basically chop something we would go a little further than that we would do a work a work class i guess that's called where people can come in and see what it takes to make something if they wanted to and basically why we were looking at the four door is because not many people want to buy the four doors and probably a lot of people don't want to buy them because they are a four-door and they don't like the way they enjoy the way they look or maybe they just want a two-door um, a lot of people want that coupe you know they want that um, desired coupe the two-door businessman coupe well uh, the reason I went looking at a four-door is because um, a person can make that car of their dream they can um, if they so desire um, and I just want to maybe do a class with maybe a few people. I'm not sure how many people yet. And uh, Jolene's not sure yet either. It's all in the, in the thinking of the brain. But we might even do a live, what's it called? A live stream. Like a live stream so you can watch the whole thing. 
um, and, and watch everybody that's doing it. So everybody that would be here that would be working on it, um, you could see what they're doing, what it takes. I was talking to a friend the other day. His name was Tommy Harms. He was telling me that he had a chop lined up for... Um, he does a lot of promotion for Gene Winfield. He had a chop lined up for Gene Winfield. And the, the guy was going to get his car chopped by Gene. And um, <clears throat> that was okay. But uh, he, and Tommy told him, well, you, you better get your, get your interior out and get ready. Well, the guy said, I have to take the interior out of my car? Well, <laughs> see, if, you, if you're not really thinking about what has to happen uh, to chop a car, um, you don't really know. Um, so the process, we would show the whole process of we're buying something that's running that's got an interior in it. Yes, the interior has to come out of your car if you're going to chop it. It's not, such, it's not just cut the roof off and put it back on. There's a bunch of stuff that has to be done. And basically we would show the whole process so you and, and everybody else would know. Oh, I turned that on. I turned the wrong machine on. See that? And we would go through it together. Uh, we would set a plan out on the board, just like we did on the old TV screen. We'd set a plan out on what we're doing. Everybody could you know, watch and learn as we're doing it. Uh, we could have people here welding. I got three or four, four welders, so everybody can weld and have a chance uh, and build something out of a car that nobody would desire to buy. Sounds about right, I guess. That's what we're thinking. Not saying it's set in stone yet, but you have to think the process through. What did I do? Why did I do that? Why was I not thinking? I knew something was wrong when I did that. I knew something was wrong. What did I do? That wasn't good. I've got another piece here. Doesn't doesn't matter that it's come up off the ground there. I got another piece here. I don't know if I want to. Hmm. Dang it. Wasn't paying attention, was I? Wasn't paying attention. Talking when I should have been paying attention. See, that's what happens when I get going with the measuring stick. Anyways, we'll put this down for a second. I'll use that in the end if I have to. Let's do that again. Let's do that again. Knew I left that machine on for some reason. Yeah, so the four door is something that no one, you know, not many people desire a four door. <clears throat> and uh, they can be just as wonderful as anything else. And that's for sure. Beautiful. Turn this bad boy on. So if anybody's thinking about, they would like to uh, work with me and build a custom car out of a four door, I'm not sure. Um, I'm, I'm not sure you could maybe message or, or let Jolene know. But that's basically what we're thinking about we're doing, what we're gonna do. that off that but I got that cut crooked a little bit I don't think it much matters 
And that piece is wider than the last piece. That's weird. It's not an 8-inch piece. I'm wondering what happened there. So they were not two eight inch strips. One was seems like a nine or whatever. I'm not sure what happened there, but it is what it is. You can't see it when the wood goes down. I'm weird like that though. I'm weird like that. Slag doesn't weld so great. I won't take all the weld off of those, but I probably will run uh, the flapper wheel on top of that. I probably will run the flapper wheel on that. And you can see that that piece is a little wider than those pieces and it does not matter because they're, they're getting covered up awesome now we're going to do the ones up front dun, 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 dun. tape measure the faster i get this done the faster i can go for the winch Let's do one at a time, just so I don't get messed up. I'm not sure if I got that exactly straight. Alvarez or Al is it Al Alcarez? 19 year old shocked the world yesterday. Shocked the world. 19 year old winning the US Open. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Shocked the world. I think he did. So that's my belly button. I think he did. I have one too, you know. I'm going to have to pull that up this side. Let's see what happens. So think about it, people that watch the show or people that are in the cars or people that watch the YouTube station. If you're interested in, in uh, customizing a car with me and uh, being filmed at the same time for the YouTube station, uh, well, we probably will be doing that. We're, we're thinking about it. How's that? We're contemplating it. <clears throat> and like I said, the reason being is a lot of people don't want to play with the four doors, but um, you, can, you can get into the hobby and have the car you want with a little effort. Hard to believe, eh? Hard to believe. Have the car you want with a little bit of effort.
car can be made into diff dip many different things. It can be made into a truck. It can be made into a sedan delivery. It can be made into a three window coupe. It can be made into a five window coupe. So as, um, as I think about the car, um, it can be done all those ways. It would be a weekend thing. So there would be just giving it some of the things that we're thinking. Remind yourself it's not in stone. It's like customizing a car, it can change at any time. But we're thinking uh, it would be a weekend thing, Saturday and Sunday. You would come here and uh, work like a son of a gun. And work like a son of a gun. <clears throat> and also have fun. Uh, basically that's what it's about, having fun and uh, making something. Using this measuring stick, no wonder I messed up a couple times. Not used to it. But we'll get her. We'll get her. The, cl the plasma cutter is such a great thing when it comes to this sort of stuff, eh? Just, uh, you know, get it, get it cut. Saves on material. Um, save some time. He loves me, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the guy that we were talking to the other day, I really enjoy his honesty. You know, I fixed the fenders, I did this, I did that. I did an okay job. Um, enjoyed his honesty. I really did. I, do. I guess, got it in place where I wanted it. Just wanted a little bit of gap, that's all. When Gene Winfield came, like when I first met Gene, I went to one of his courses, and uh, every time he came back, I went to every one. <laughs> uh, and I learned something every time, you know? Basically, I learned something every time. And it's, it's yeah, I went to every one. I went to every one of them. That were here anyway, it's in Nova Scotia. If you don't learn something from Gene, you learn something from somebody else standing beside you or something they've done, or they, you know, what you wouldn't do. Just because it's something that you would do doesn't mean you're, you know, what can I say? When I say learn something, it's something that I wouldn't do and something I would do. There's two different ways of learning something or looking at things. One way is the way I would, I would like to do it. And another way you learn is, I, I don't think I, I wouldn't do it that way. There's two ways of learning, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So you can learn um, if you're thinking about it full time. what to do and not what not to do. I do not feel like I have to put one up in here. And the reason being is the car is not going in the back of the truck. Uh, I'm, I'm saying the wheel is going to be back here. You got your, you got your frame out here, your gas tank. So basically I'm, I'm saying that the wheel is not going to be any further than up here. So I'm fine. I do not think that the wood is going to break in that distance when the, when the car rolls over top of it. I, I think I talked about 
when we first put the car on. Um, I'm not going to do any wheel wells yet because I might end up tape making something removable. Pull the wheel well out, let the car come acro across the board here, and then the car would just come roll ahead, hit the tire and roll up on the tire and come straight forward. I do not feel like I need to pull that car up over top of a hump if I don't have to. I'd rather leave it down low like that and make it easier to load. <clears throat> make it easier to load. So that's, yeah, we'll go to the other side. Cooking with gas, we are cooking with gas. That wheel looks like it wants to fall off, but I hope, I hope it doesn't. Going to the other side. Dun, 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 dun. Powder in, I wonder. I'm going to let that down. Drag this forward and see what happens. We can come a little more forward. And we'll have her. Got her cord book back up again. Get a length going on. So it's okay, I messed up one. Ha! We're back in action, man. Back in action. The boys are working on the cement slab this morning, taking off all the wood around the outside of the of the the cement floor. Taking all the why don't we call that the uh, I'll get the name of it here in a second. Framing. Taking that all out, getting ready for getting ready for some walls. Exciting. Exciting. Got a phone call coming in today. I feel like it's very important and we, we're, we're excited to take it, aren't we, Jolene? I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but we get an important phone call and um, we're excited. Not pee your pants excited, but excited. Good morning, Fina. Man, that guy's throwing on the cuts this morning, isn't he? Huh? Putting on the cuts. knock it down just a little bit. Ah, I don't think it matters. You know, me trying to be practical or whatever it is called. Using my brain, thinking that I'm gonna put the, the inch boards on instead of buying the inch and a half. Cost more, didn't want it up above this. To, I, I wanted the wood below this or right on with this uh, exhaust pipe. It takes a little bit more work sometimes. And, and the only reason, work never hurts anybody. Everybody's gotta work or everybody should know that you have to work if you want something. But I'm working a little bit harder um, putting this in and cutting this and putting this in place as if I bought the, the, the thicker board. But I have this metal. Uh, my thought process is I wanted the wood even with this. So this is what I've done to make it work so I get what I want, but I have to just work a little harder. And let's put this in.
<clears throat> and it's the same with having an old car. You know, if you haven't got the money to buy that coupe that you want, I'm that kind of guy, or I am that guy, that would buy a four-door and work so I could get it. Basically, I would work to get it. And what I mean by work is I would take my time, my effort, and I would cut it and make it be what I want it to be. 16, right on the money. Beautiful. You are Joey. Beautiful. Joey. Beautiful. She's my lady. That's for sure. Just gonna do it like that for now. Square it up with that. And go for it. Oh, can you flick that welder on there for a sec? Nope, I got it. I got it. If you wasn't here, I'd have to do it, wouldn't I? Huh? If you wasn't here, I'd have to do it. Alrighty, just like that, we've got, we've got a deck that's ready for wood. Ready for wood. Let's pull this over, I just wanna show you. Ah. This is deck wood, inch. Basically. I'm happy with walking on that, no problem. If I'm walking up here, the car is not going to be in the middle there nowhere. All the support is on the outside where the wheels are. We've got that supported now. I'm saying that the car is not going to break the wood on that little distance right there. It'd be quite a quite a amount of pressure or weight to do that. Um, so I have to build a spot up front here for the deck, or not for the deck, for the winch. I have to build a support area, make it nice and strong. I got a cross member here and I got a cross member here. I'll probably build some kind of something to support the winch here. We'll be able to run it from standing here. Uh, I noticed that the winch is a 12 volt system. Uh, I, might, I might see if I can grab Wally, uh, the guy that got the big truck going for us. Very intelligent, he seems to be very intelligent. Uh, maybe he could switch it over to 12 volt for us so we could run the winch and all that stuff. I'm positive he could probably do something like that. But basically I'm not gonna run the metal any further than this because I feel like the, the tires are not gonna be up in there. This is just extra support for the board to go over top of um, so the, the car does not go down through. And that's basically where I'm going. I've got the ass, the ass of the truck all tied in right. Also, I got the, the 
Got the ramps. The ramps are here. Uh, when I opened the package of the ramps, it, you know, it said that this end goes up there. And it still might, because I don't have to weld anything on there. But I was thinking that the wheel would come up on that, but that, that, that's fine. I think the wheel, pull it up that, no, no problem whatsoever. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, that doesn't hurt anything at all, does it? So we'll see what happens. But also, I was thinking about leaving this down at the other end, because let's face it, when it says something on the box, <laughs> it does not mean it has to go that way. It means it's, it's a suggestion. I could weld something on there on the end of that to hold that up and then the car would have no, um, what can I say, interference of rolling up over. But that's not very high. I don't think it would have a hard time to roll the wheel up over top of that. And I'm thinking it would save me from welding something on the end of here if I just put that up on there. We'll see what happens. But basically when I open the package of something and it says something, it, it's a suggestion to me. I do with what I want when I do something like that. And that's what I suggest you do. You do what you want to make yourself happy. And when you're watching me do this stuff, take what you like, throw away what you don't like. Also, if you see something I'm doing that you do not like, make sure you don't do it. That's, that's one of the basic things of learning, to know what to do and what not to do. Good choices, good life. Bad choices, bad life, basically. Alrighty, everybody, thanks for coming in and watching what I'm doing. I just kind of got that plated up, so now I can start running the plank. Uh, I'm thinking that everything's good here. Um, I'm thinking that this is not going to bend. So now that this is not going to bend, it's connected to our exhaust pipe. Where I have this here running over there, I'm thinking that's not going to bend because we have it on all this and that. I'm not sure if I need to gusset this or not. Or not. If I do, I will just throw a triangle in. Gusset it, gusset it if I think if I have to or not. I don't think I have to because I don't think this is going to bend. If this is not going to bend, well, that means it's going to hold that. It's all connected as one now. Basically, it's the exact same thing as a car. This is, the, this is your cross members of your floor. And that's the outside sill. And that's quite an outside sill we have. Let's stand back and take a look at it because I like it. I like it a lot. We've got them all butted all together. Everything's butted together now. Um, basically, Jolene's more or less thinking about color, uh, what she wants to do with the race car, because it's kind of the hauler for the race car. Um, and that's, that's her cup of tea, thinking about what she wants and what she don't want. And that's the fun of it. She has no time to worry about nothing or anybody else because she's busy full-time making the videos or thinking about what color she wants a race car in her truck. Have a good one, everybody. Like, share, comment, ring my bell. See you tomorrow.